There is probably nothing more frightening than getting the diagnosis that something is potentially wrong with your future baby. We're still just getting the plaque code for you. So fetal surgery opened the door to fetal intervention, to fetal treatment, and, and a broad range of fetal therapies. So as a fetal surgeon, I have always been interested in the placenta. I even have a stuffed placenta in my office. This organ, one of the fastest growing body parts, it develops blood vessels that allow blood to go back and forth uh, between the fetus and the mother. I mean, it's just amazing. I knew that there was interesting biology in the placenta. The CURE trial, which stands for Cellular Therapy for In Utero Repair, builds on previous work that's been going on a long time. But then, you know, we might do a CDH thing. I started collaborating with a fabulous bioengineer, and the two of us have been scientific partners over the last decade to bring these engineered placental-derived stem cells to therapy for children with spina bifida before birth. We first asked the question how we can really use the most advanced bioengineering technologies, including placenta-derived stem cells, to help the patient to recover better. So they are very smart. They can help the spinal cord tissue to grow better. And in the end, actually, we got the FDA approval for the clinical trial. Spina bifida is all from a simple failure of that spine and that spinal cord to close early in gestation. And can result in lifelong paralysis, bowel and bladder dysfunction, as well as some central neurologic problems. The CURE trial is an attempt to improve the neurologic outcome or the baby's ability to do things like walk after the operation. We're placing human stem cells into the fetus during fetal surgery. We create a piece of tissue that has the stem cells growing on it. We trim this piece of tissue to the right shape and size and place it right on the exposed spinal cord of the fetus during the operation. And in that way, the stem cells gives its effects during the rest of gestation. So this is a, a very long-term trial to figure out whether these stem cells helped or not. We know that the MOMS trial, which was a clinical trial that really established fetal surgery for spina bifida as the new gold standard, had a great improvement in outcomes for children. But we know that the vast majority of children still could not walk unassisted after fetal surgery, despite the improvements. So this is an opportunity to make a huge difference in the children's lives and their families' lives and improve that outcome for them. The way that the CURE trial is conducted is extremely rigorous. There's oversight from the FDA. The CURE trial is part of CIRM, which is the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine. And so the amount of science, of regulation, of passion that's gone into getting the CURE trial to where it is now is phenomenal. This particular clinical trial is all UC Davis. And we are so lucky. We have the GMP, the good manufacturing practice facility right around the corner for generating the clinical grade cells. So it's like we are destined to it. I cannot be more excited for my patients. I think it will make a tremendous difference. Even if you do not become a cure patient, absolutely come and contact us. You can still be treated with fetal treatment provided you're eligible. I really do think that we can reverse the damage that was done and potentially eliminate nearly all of the disability associated with spina bifida. I really believe it's possible. <laughs>